Well, hello, thank you for joining me and welcome to the channel. So today we've got another boombox unboxing, or at least I think it's a, a boombox anyway. We shall find out shortly. Regular visitors to the channel know that we've got quite a lot of uh, old broken radio cassettes in at the moment for work. We thought it'd be good fun to uh, have a look and see what we can do with some of these old broken radio cassettes. So, as usual, I don't know what this is. You will know by the time I put the video up, of course, um, as will I, but for the moment, this is a bit of a surprise for me as it is for you. So, just gonna, just gonna open up this box and see what's inside. Okay, well, here we go. Just bear with me. Right. Okay, that's the cardboard gone. We'll just get rid of this bubble wrap. Apologies, it's uh, quite noisy wrap this. There's the first layer. So what can we see? Aha. Oops, I think I just belted the camera there. Sorry about that. Okay, aha. So. Right, that's the noisy bit done. So here we have a JVC RC 545L. So this one dates from, I believe the late seventies. And um, yeah, so it's a lovely old JVC radio cassette. Looks to be in fairly sensible condition as well. Um, all of the transport keys are present. Let's have a look. Well, the eject mechanism works, which is always a bonus. Needs a bit of a clean. But yeah, the VU meter looks good. Um, let's have a look at the radio. Yeah, so far, I mean, that, that seems to feel okay. The tape counter is not on zero there, but it resets to zero, so that might work okay. Um, got a bit of a, a bit of a dented handle. I don't know if you can see that there. That's a bit scriffy, it's not only straightening. Also, the back should really be more of a gray color. Then it's discolored to this kind of uh, greeny yellow. So we'll see if we can do something with that. Good news though, the, um, the aerial is intact. The aerial tip is present and it snaps into its locator really well. So that's good news. What else can we see? Switches feel, well, almost loose, but certainly not sticky and kind of uh, snatchy. They might be a bit scratchy and noisy when we try them out, but um, the pots feel okay. Uh, that one feels like it's had a bit of a knock on the volume, but we'll have a look at that later. Okay, so overall, not in bad condition really, to be fair. Um, these are surprisingly rare. There's not many of these ones about. So um, what we'll be doing is giving it a darn good clean, strip it down. We'll test it first anyway, check all the, uh, see what's up with the tape, see if that's working, see if the radio is working and all that kind of stuff. And in any event, what we do with all of these is we'll give them a good sort of strip down, give them a good clean, refurbish any parts that we might need to. Um, it's not making any horrible, jangly, loose plastic broken noises inside, which is always a bonus. Um, so yeah, so please do subscribe, uh, hit the notifications bell for updates, and we'll, um, we'll be back very soon with a video on plugging this in, testing it, diagnosing the issues, and, uh, and fixing anything that we find. So thanks again for watching. Bye-bye for now.